Hi. If you don't already know me, my name is Ashton McCallum, um, and I'm making, among other things, a game we called In Which We Live and Breathe, which is a Shadowrun-style um, fantasy cyberpunk Blitz in the Dark hack. And I've been developing some kind of cool stuff with my Roll20 sheet. So, um, if I grab the PDF here, and I scroll down to the bottom, and I have a look um, at the bottom, we've got a section called Roll20 Character Sheet which includes the HTML code and the CSS code um, that if you are a pro subscriber on Roll20, you can go into your game and you can go to settings, game settings, and then character sheet template custom. And then you can paste those into the HTML layout tab and the CSS styling tab. And that'll give you access to the um, to the character sheets while the game is in development. Um, once the game is a bit more finished and polished up, um, then those character sheets will be available for everyone in the Rule 20 repository. But what I wanted to show you is a bit of tech that I've put into this character sheet that I'm quite proud of. So if I go into my Rule 20 and I go to the journal tab and create a new character, um, an off-lick epigee is going to be our example for the moment um, and I got a character sheet I've got two tabs I've got character for like individual characters and I've got one for crew and community like a, a, a blades hack um, it has a separate character sheet for the um, for the the crew itself and you can see that on both of them at the bottom we have an import section so if I go back to my PDF and I scroll up to the section labeled library We've got a bunch of pre-gen content to make uh, to get you off the ground a bit quicker. Um, I'm working on this, so at the moment it's very very sparse and very basic. Um, but to prove the kind of the to kind of prove the concept for the roll twenty sheet, if I come here and go code for the backup street shit kids crew, and I copy it, and I go into my roll twenty sheet, and I've got it set to crew, and I paste into there, and then I click off. <gasps> What's that? I have my uh, crew type, what we do, uh, cache, some crew gear is all pre-populated. Um, it's not in, brought in the name, but that's fine. Um, that's because of another uh, script that's um, helping there. Cool. We've got our pack up, backup street shit kids. Great. Um, now if I jump into here, I can be like... You can see about the opossums, um, which is really cool. So I can import a whole, uh, I can import basically a whole character sheet um, just by copying and pasting in that formatted data. Um, and I can do this with both characters and uh, crews or both really if I wanted to. Um, and if I want to add a contact to that crew, we'll get Alinta. Hi Alinta, copy. And we can see we don't have any contacts at the moment. So we'll go down here paste. Hi Alinta. Great. Oh, there she is. She's a pilot mechanic. Um, or we can get Terry. Where's Terry? Terry White. Copy. Paste. There's Terry. Hi Terry. He's an infiltration specialist. That's neat. So if you want to do this with your own character sheets, um, uh, I've set up a thing um, on on my blog with the, with just the code that you need. It's not a lot of code. It's pretty simple. Um, it's under um, it's on my blog under journal, um, scjack.net. Um, I'll link to it with this video. Um, and also, um, yeah, I'm excited to see people getting this shit together because then we can have people sharing. Uh, sharing content for all 20 sheets, which I'm pretty excited about. So thanks for having a look at that. Cheers.